Welcome to Beyond Measure. Thank you for watching part two of our Faith Journal Inside series. The stamp is by Heartfelt Creations. It is one of my favorites. It says, love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy. It's like the love chapter in the Bible. And we're using a dye ink by Memento in angel pink. I can hear the angels singing. Whoa! This journal tag measures five and five eighths by four and a fourth inches. Don't forget to ink your edges with Tim Holtz Distress Inks and keep your Viva Decor pen in silver on hand. This portion of the Faith Journal Kit paper is too pretty to go unnoticed, so I have to embellish it. I cut a piece of Staples right on transparency to be the identical size of the journal tag. Use the We Are Memory Keepers Big Buy to punch a hole for the cross brad that came from faithfullyyours.net. Here we go! Off to the talent rodeo with the Xyron 500. Using the faithfullyyours.net Faith Journal Digital Paper Kit, created these tags, some of the flowers, and some other embellishments for our journal. Now, for help with our bow, we'll bring out the Ultimate Crafters Companion Tool. Wrap our vintage tinted seam binding around two or three times, then take an extra piece and tie around the middle, then trim as desired. Fluff, 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 <laughs> and more fluff. The It Takes Two scripture stickers are awesome and super easy to use. Just because it has a longer scripture and it won't fit on your sentiment mat, that's okay. Just cut it to the size that you need it. Woohoo! We're using 3D glue dots to adhere our mat to our folder. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. It's coming together, placing the tags into their allotted pouches. Pouches, that makes it sound like it's a kangaroo. <laughs> Insert kangaroo sound here. Using more lovely paper from the Faith Journal Kit and the Tim Holtz Alterations Tattered Florals Dye plus the Cuddle Bug makes for an awesome winning combination to make some of our flowers for our project. Again, we must ink it up doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo, and spritz it up doo -doo -doo -doo, with water. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You can use many different tools to do the technique in which I'm doing. I'm just using a metal working tool, a piece of foam foam for a mat, and a little paintbrush. Now to embellish with our beautiful flowers. I use glossy accents to adhere the flower to the ribbon because it's velvet and rayon, and I didn't know how other adhesives would handle it. Now we need to adhere our piece of paper to the outside of the folder and we can make a pocket while we're at it. So just adhere on three sides. This portion of the journal is complete. Next step, we'll create a book to fill with the treasures from the Lord. Using Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive, I'm making sure that I put plenty of adhesive, especially around the window and the edges of the book. We're cutting it out just to give it more stability, we made it two thicknesses. Boy, the Tim Holtz tonic scissors sure do a great job. Trimming on the lines that you made on the large craft envelope will create the foundation for our booklet. Notice that I did not trim on the horizontal line yet. We will create a flap as if it were its own envelope. Trim only one layer on the line. Unfold and trim off some of the excess, making sure to leave enough to fold over like a flap of an envelope. Trim the corners off diagonally and score, folding the flap over, creating an envelope. It is your discretion as to which side you leave open to use as a pocket in your book. Ink heavily with Tim Holtz Distressed Ink on both sides of all envelopes. The paper of choice for our back cover is La Creme by Die Cuts with a View. Tracing around the envelope is important for trimming. Make sure to have extra for the book. On the inked edges, I use glossy accents for adhesive and then my pink scotch ATG gun for the middle. Woohoo! Ink it up again with Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. Now I'm using a utility knife, otherwise known as an X-Acto knife, atop a self-healing mat. We're creating a window for our scripture. 
After cutting an X, trim off the little triangles of the back layer, then use a bone folder and glossy accents to adhere acetate packaging or transparency for our window. Woohoo! Viva Decor Pearl Pins to embellish the cover of our book. For the fastener on our book, we're going to use a Tim Holtz grunge board hinge inked with black soot. Please tune in for part three.